Hi guys, um, welcome to another unboxing, or well, this is more of a components check. Um, I've already opened this box and I've already done a time lapse video for solo playthrough of it. I just thought I'd show you guys the actual components of this game. It is a very high quality um, game. Um, I've got one expansion, it's the Stragglers Pack. There are three more, three or four more. Um, I am getting one more soon. I'm hoping to get the others if they actually get them back in stock. Um, let's start. So, inside the awful orphanage box, you have your rule book that has a lot of lore inside it. Let's see if I can. So there's just lots of stories and extra bits. Um, there's just it just adds so much lore to the game. I don't know if you can see it there. Um, but yeah, there's just there's just so much to this book. Um, it is a very nice simple rule book. I must admit, after having played and through it, there is a couple of um, questions people might have, like uh, where you uh, place the the hall tiles. Um, from what I've seen and what I did, I just placed the tiles, the hall tiles normally, and the doors bumped onto the white bits. I didn't have to do the openings. Not sure if that's correct. Hopefully, I can be told if it's not. Um, so in here we have the minis. They are very high quality for a company that have just done their first game. This is very high quality. I, I don't want to be mean to other companies but these do put a lot of other minis to shame from what I've seen. Uh, we'll take a look at them in a minute. Um, so in here we have the board. Again there's a nice little feature what they've done to this board that I've not seen before. It actually has magnetic flaps. Don't know if you can see it. I will check on this camera. So they actually fold over to give you an edge to put your your um, tiles down on, so they won't slip during gameplay. And it's just it, it just adds that little bit of. Oh, I don't know, love to me, it just feels like, you know, they, they didn't have to do this. I was from the Kickstarter from day one, and this was just an extra that I think after the campaign had already succeeded, they were making the game, they just came along and went, we're going to do this. Originally, I think there were uh, plans on just doing um, sides that clipped on with plastic clips, and they came up with this idea, and it is just, it's a really good idea. I must admit, personally, I think I will end up getting a neo neoprene mat just because I love a neoprene mat. Let's put this away. Um, it's got their company logo on the back as well, just just so you don't forget who they are. Um, and then we have the tiles. Again, I've unpunched everything. Um, you've got the little room tiles. Um, what I was saying about the edges, oh, so on this here, I actually happily put the doors to the edges. I don't know if that's correct, but that's how I did it, and I just thought, to me, that worked. I, I think I remember them doing a playthrough during Kickstarter, and I think that's what they did. Um, but yeah, hopefully... I can find out and post on the comments below if people are wondering. So the tiles, they are just, there's loads. They're, they're all mainly um, straight edges, T junctions, cross junctions, and dead ends. There are a few, if I can actually find it, there we go, that have the symbol for um, the God and Sinister Man. So, or actually, it's a... Uh, uh, it, it's a rune, so the Gaunt and Sinister ma Man can't actually get close to you. So if you're standing in that tile, when he comes or when he comes towards you, he can't see you, and he will have to go to another aim or go towards another character. So that's that. I think all the tiles are basically the same. They've just got extra little things. Um, see this tile here. 
it's got the little hopscotch uh, drawn out on it there's just so many little little things if you look at the tiles there's oh, here we go here's one with a outline of a dead body on it the chalk outline it's, it's just little little things that they've done to to this whole game that's just just adds that little bit of flavor to it and then we have the room tiles in here so uh, I think I actually drew out the uh, so the only double room is the dining hall it's the one I found straight away conveniently so it is two single tiles but this will be placed before the game starts you've got this you've got the orphans bedroom where you start and then you've got um, Mrs Pendergast's um, office they're the three rooms that start on the board when you play um, the advantage with these or the good thing what these have done with these tiles as well they're actually felt backed so even with the edge in they will not slip on your board so once they're down they're down they're, they're, they're just solid and it's just little again this was another extra that they, they just chucked in on the Kickstarter they just said oh we're going to do this we want to make our game as best as we can make it and they just added all these extra things and I mean I've I've not backed loads of Kickstarters but I've done I think I'm on about 20 now and these are the only guys that have ever gone out of their way to do extra things like this that we, we didn't ask for, we didn't say, oh, we want this. They just went, oh, by the way, we're adding this, we're doing this. And to me, for a first company, first um, company that's first Kickstarter, I think it's really good. They are actually releasing on the 30th of May, I think it is. I will have to double check. They have got a new Kickstarter. Um, it's a it's novels that they they tried releasing before um, people received this game, so it's um, the story. I think the first uh, one it's going to be called the Orphanage Awakens, something like that. But I think that's coming on to kickstart on the thirtieth. Um, before they did do a just a hardback, and I think this time they're doing a soft a softback and a hardback as maybe an extra. But again, they kept on adding lots of extra things. They would have added so much to the book if it funded. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this time it will fund because I just love the lore. I mean, during the Kickstarter, they kept on adding little bits of lore. Every, I think it was like every week they're adding extra bits of story about the characters. They just kept on adding more and more bits. And they didn't have to. I mean, I'm, I've got a few Kickstarters that they take your money, it's funded, and you get a message eh, once a month, if that, maybe less. And with these guys, they were just messaging as much as they could. And just to me, for it's just it shows how much they care about the backers. Um, so again, back onto the components. We have these are the loot tiles that will be placed onto the onto the um, tiles as you place them. So I think the only rooms that don't receive tiles is Mrs. Pent or Miss Pentagast's office and the orphan's bedroom. All the others will receive three of these loot tokens, and this is where you can get your stuff cards using one of your action points. Uh, let's go on to the minis. Okay, guys, I'm I'm back. Um, just noticed I wasn't actually recording on my GoPro, so I all that beginning video. I have not got, I will go back for it quickly, so that was the um, the tile to stop you getting attacked by um, the God the Sinister Man, and then little bits of flavour like that there, just, just, you know, just little bits of extra flavour, and here's one of the rooms, and then on the back here you can actually see the felt backing. Uh, Let's go back here. Now let's look at the minis. So as well, um, little things like the dice they've done. So yeah, th so this here is the dice for um, the Gauntlet Sinister Man. I mean, just look at the detail on that. It's just they've just done so well on that engraving on that. Um, and then this is the orderly dice, the movement dice, and. What what does a British game need? 
a dice with a cup of tea on it. I mean, that's what makes the uh, the orderlies go back to their room and rest. That's if their their rooms on the board. If not, they will go back to the hall. Uh, my first game, the one that I've got time lapse of, I actually hadn't drawn that card by the end of the game. I personally think I won my game just because one of my last tiles I put onto the board that came out right at the end was Gordon Sinister Man's location, so he wasn't out on the board at all for a majority of my game. Um, I don't know if it's part of the rules, I, I sort of might have house ruled it, but as soon as I drew that tile, I placed it on the board. Because to me, I just thought, if it goes into your hand, it needs to go straight on the board. Um, hopefully I can double check the rules and post in the comments if you guys need to know. Um, so here we go, let's look at the minis. So here is one of the orderlies, you have six of these. Um, it is quite a shame because originally I th on the Kickstarter I think there was going to be a stretch goal to actually unlock a different orderly for each character, but obviously we didn't get enough funding. Hopefully the next game that I know they will be doing is going to be a skirmish sort of game. I'm hoping that we will get more funding because people will see how good quality this is. So fingers crossed and all you guys that are interested in it Follow Workhouse Games on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook to keep an eye on their posts because they will be doing more games. They keep doing um, releasing minis. I think they've got a local company um, in the UK that does some custom made resin models. So I'm hoping that they they will do they will be releasing a lot more minis. I know there is an expansion. Um, they are going to be releasing soon. Where um, originally they were going to send us these games really early and it got delayed, I, I think it sat in um, the warehouse for about a month and because of that they're creating a new mini um, I can't remember, I know his special ability is always late because they're taking a the mick out of themselves um, it's what these guys do, I mean what, one of the expansions was a character on a horse or a fake horse but the minis, some of the minis have had no heads and they actually have released a card that you can download that is taking a mick out of them saying the uh, crazy clown kid that I'll show you in a minute has stolen all the horse heads it's it's another reason why I love these guys they just they, they don't mind they admit if they've done wrong so this is that was the orderly so let's have a look at the bad boy the Gordon Sinister Man I mean you can see let's compare them to the orderly obviously the orderly is hench but look how tall he is. He is just a beautiful mini. I mean, they're just... It's just stunning. When I when I saw these minis on the uh, Kickstarter page, I was thinking, ah, oh, they're not going to be as good as what they look. And they've turned up, and wow. And here we go. Here's Miss Pentagast. Or, oh, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. But, again... Just lovely mini. I wish I was good at painting because if I was, I would happily paint these myself. I paint models, but I'm not going to class myself as the best painter. So, personally, I know someone who would paint these for me. He actually received the game himself. He's on the process of painting these minis, so I'm hoping that I can sort of beg him to paint the minis for me or <laughs> with a bit of money. So, here is the crazy clown kid. He's a, I think he's holding a rat. He, the story is, let's see if this focuses. I think the story is this kid is, yes, he um, goes around eating rats, and he's the, all the kids in the where, in, in the orphanage avoid him because he's this crazy kid dressed as a clown that eats rats. I mean, I'd be scared. Uh, and then we have some more minis if this thing ever wants to focus um, I think this was that, that was I'm not sure the names of all these characters uh, I know this one is called Locke and then we have here my favourite character or well, one of my favourite characters I have two uh, this is the prof and we have 
Let me actually look at the cards. Uh, this is Duffer. I know he's good for fighting. He's good at fighting the orderlies. Uh, you have the twins. Where where do these remind you of? <laughs> um, what else do you have? My other personal favourite is, or oh, one of my favourites, is Alice. Uh, she has a little cat on the bottom of the, of the mini. Uh, I know she was a Kickstarter. Uh, I think it was, originally she was, if you backed in the first 24 hours, she received her. And then again, Workhouse Games being Workhouse Games, they went, ah, everyone can have them. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty good for them. And then, here we go, here's another one. My camera is not liking these close up, and I know this is, I'm sure this is lickety split. I'm going through the cards, yeah, lickety split. I'm sure that is, because she's uh, in the running position. And then you have... Uh, I think on her mini, or on the picture of her, she has a painted white face. She uh, dances and distracts the orderlies. And then we have... If You've got to have an orphanage with Oliver. Uh, again, I think this was another one unlocked in the Kickstarter. I am, again, really upset that I didn't back the other minis. Uh, I've just I've been seeing them now being posted and they just look so good. So this is your character cards. Uh, you use these as an action and once you've used them you flip them over and spend them on your stuff cards as cards to replenish your special abilities. So a couple of the characters have two abilities. You only can use one in, in the game but um, I think one's easier for co-op or one's uh, player versus player sort of card. Um, I have got, actually got my cards from my Stragglers pack in there, so I will show you them minis in a minute. Um, again, it's just it's just the artwork. It's just it's just nice. It just I just love this artwork. And then you have the stuff cards. So this is all stuff that you will pick up during the game and then we will find enjoy in the cards. These uh, You can use them against characters, you can use them um, to defend yourself, they're all different sorts. There's some useless cards that are just taking up space. Um, and then we have, when I find them, it's just every card has got different artwork apart from the orderlies and that's obvious because the orderlies all look the same well humbugs, they actually did um, going on to the humbugs with their other little um, items you could buy during while this kickstarter was being processed it was just like special minis for painting, not part of the game they actually gave everyone who bought that packets of humbugs I was actually quite sad that I had no money to do it because I would have just liked it just to have the workhouse game humbugs. I think they were purple and black. Uh, let's carry on going through these. Uh, here we go. Here is the cra crazy, the, the creepy clown kid. He will um, come on the board at certain points and he works himself in towards. It's either Miss Pentagast's office or the Gauntless Sinister Man's tile. Can't remember to be sure. Um, so as you're playing this, you're trying to get cards, and you're, all you're trying to do is find when I actually find one in these cards. Again, the cards are really good quality, really high quality. Um, we're trying to find the talisman. So let me double check. I don't know if you can see the, the talisman cards are shiny. They actually, all the other cards are standard, but the talisman cards, they, they didn't shiny because they're special cards. This is what you're trying to find. You're trying to find this to head to Miss Pentagast's office, and once you get there, you, you basically rip in her soul out of her body by 
breaking the pact with the gaunt and sinister man. And then I know from what I've heard from the guys who make this that the next game will be based on straight uh, directly after the events of the gaunt and sinister man ripping out her soul. Um, the orphan, I think they're going to do, um, we're going to let them know who keeps winning the games and whoever wins the most games I think will be the next model in their next game as the character you're trying to save or something, I'm not too sure. Um, really looking forward to that, it's going to be more of a skirmish game of a, uh, rather than a board game but they're saying it's going to be affordable again um, because again these guys they like doing affordable things, I mean this game was for the amount of minis and the quality it was so cheap it was it was just shocking that it didn't have more backers. I think the main thing was a lot of people didn't know the company, so I think a lot of people were scared to back a brand new company. For me, I like backing the new the new companies because that's what Kickstarter is all about. You've got the bigger companies that use it as just a pre-order. I'd rather back a smaller company, get them going, and and these games have just proven to me. If you find the right company, if you f they will they will meet your expectations and <coughs> go way beyond it. So let's find if I can find all the talisman cards. I think there might be four. There might be more. So these are the talismans that you're trying to find to break the pact of the gaunt and sinister man. Um, so once you find these. You head straight to the uh, Miss Pentagast's office if you can, if you're not getting attacked by Ordlis or the Gauntlet Sinister Man. Or if you're playing player v player, other players trying to stop you because if you start making a run for it, if you're not co op, they're going to work it out and they're going to try and stop you as soon as they can. Uh, there's cards that will send you straight back. If you lose a fight, you will go sent back. I'm not too sure, again, I think it was what I read online, that if you your character gets sent back to the office, it might have been in the rule book, I'm not too sure, if your character gets sent back to the, the rule bedroom three times in a row, that means your character has died. I'm not too sure on that, I will have to double check. Um, so, in here, we have the two other characters that I have. So... Again, very high quality. Uh, I can't remember. So you've got Weasel and you've got Genius. This guy here, I know is Genius. He is actually useless. Um, let me see if I can find his card. Here we go. So all these characters have really nice abilities. Ignore a fight with a single orderly. Yeah, they all have really nice abilities. And then we have Genius. Naffle. And flip it over, Naffle. Yeah, he's kind of a... Uh, yeah. He's one of them characters that I think people will play with just for a challenge of not having any special abilities, but poor guy. <laughs> and then here we have Weasel. And he is called Weasel, because I don't know if you can see it in here. He has a little pet Weasel. And he is a very dapper chap with a nice top hat. So, let's show you his card. See, at least he has a decent ability. It's just, yeah. It is just poor, poor old um, he's a genius. So, that is the components of this board game. There are a few more. There's a lot of tiles. I mean, I can show you a few more. Um, again, they've all got a little bit of flavour to them. There's there's little bits of detail in each card, on each tile that if you actually spend your time looking at, you just you you just notice so many little things. It's just the cards. I just they've just the artwork on this game. So here we go. Here is the Gordon Sinister's Man's Chamber. As soon as this tile comes onto the board. I place it and then he comes on the table and you better run because he can move through walls because obviously he's a ghost stroke demon. Um, a few other rooms 
and yeah, that is it. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're liking my videos. I have got a bit of a dodgy setup at the moment. I am looking to upgrade it slowly. Um, my videos will get better in quality, I assure you, and I will be getting some playthroughs. I was hoping to get some people over tonight and get a playthrough of this four player, but unfortunately they're all at a games night, so yeah. Um, thank you again guys for watching this. Please like and subscribe to my videos. I am hoping that I'm going to be doing a lot more, better and better quality. Um, put, put comments in your videos, uh, in my video, and let me know what you think I can do better. Because I am, I'm looking to to change my my videos, upgrade to make it better for you guys, so you enjoy watching it. Um, thank you again for watching this. Um, I will see you in the next video. It won't be as soon as this one, but I will be doing one again. Thank you again. Bye.